Welcome back. As you can see, things have escalated a little. Alright, so as you can see, getting on the side, getting the whole lot of the bottom side stripped off. I'm 99.9% 99 .9 happy with the results. Um, it's pretty solid in all the, the right places. I do have a few little bits of rust here and there to deal with, and I've got a monumental cock up, thanks to my friends at the body shop, also to deal with. We'll go through them all, I'll quickly show you what they are now, and then we'll, uh, we'll walk through it. Right, so starting at the front, I've got this, which is, was my bad, I've got a tiny little hole under there, same on both sides. What you see on this side is pretty much the same on the other side. Tiny little hole under there, I've got a pallet welded up years ago, um, before I was even wanting to try and touch it. Um, and all he's done is basically just welded a piece over the top of it. Now, I'm not happy with that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that patch out and just basically replace the rusty metal underneath. No point in having rust underneath a clean patch because the rust underneath will eat through the patch. Next, we'll have these dreaded holes. See where it's thinned out enough just there to... For that, I mean, that's not the end of the world, but I'm figuring what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this piece out here altogether and just get rid of this hole. Again, same on the other side, the other one's looking a little bit more crusty. Um, but like I say, once I, again, I'll just cut that whole piece out and just replace that whole piece. And this corner. Now, the underneath looks solid, so this piece here looks solid enough going into it, looks like just this. So what I have to do is I have to take this plate off altogether, probably cut out and a section down there. And then to replace that, that should be quite a straightforward replacement piece again as well. So I'm not too worried. All, all in all, it's actually looking in really good shape. But I mean, as you can see, it's, it's in good shape. As you can see from the shorts, the chassis legs are pretty much solid. Other than a bit of surface rust here and there, which obviously I'll treat that before I paint it. However, coming to the back, this is where we've got to start the monumental cock up. So the body shop put us a new back panel on. Years and years ago, this was back in the 90s, decided not to tell us that the back chassis legs had actual rot in it. So they've just welded the panel on and left it, body shuts over the top of it. However, when I've been stripping off the under seal from under here, what they've done, because they did this, I've been stripping back the under seal. I don't know what they've done here. That's not even welded in. They've literally looks like they've just rammed a piece of metal into there. So basically, I've got this section underneath here to repair in the corner and then the new chassis leg to build on top. There was actually a piece of metal, um, I don't have it now, I've thrown it out, there was actually a piece of metal jammed in there altogether, I assume to cover this up to take your eye off it, and um, you can actually see the line there, you see the line there, where they just literally body shuts over the top of it and left it. So yeah, absolutely dog rough. What the hell can I say about this? Can you take your spare wheel well out, lads? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. We can take your spare wheel well out. If I'd realised they were going to just use a hammer and a chisel to take it out. I could have just done it myself. So all they've done is literally they've just hacked it out, um, laying a chunk of metal across the top, stitched it in all the way around. And that's it. That's all they've done to it. They hadn't even bothered to take off the under seal underneath because when I've been taking the under seal off, a lot of this was burned through and they just left it burned through, which is pretty much the same as what they've done here when the stitch welded my chassis legs. I was bits of the original seal I was just blown out there and they just left it. That's hence why I think the body shuts the hole underneath. Now. There's the dirty dark secret about the car that not many people knew about. So, what happened when I put the body kit on back in the 90s, absolutely no bodywork master. Still at this day, no bodywork master. I'm still sort of learning. Anyway, long and short of it is, I put this side on, this side wheel arch on. It was a ball ache to do. It was horrible to do. But I got it on, it needed a bit of finesse and a bit of smoothing out. You know, my lines needed to clean out. Hence was the decision to put it in the body shop to get the work done. Fantastic. Into the body shop. Front wings were already on, side skirts were on, this quarter was on, I just had the other quarter to go and basically clean everything up, make it nice, give it a full paint job. I took the whole car in as a bare shell. There you go, sort that out. Right. There's the other quarter. Can you put the other rear quarter on for us, please? 
Yes, no problem, Mr. Webster. We can do that for you. We can put the quarter on, no trouble at all. They've put the quarter on, but here's the problem. So when they put the quarter on, excuse my artwork, that is effectively what they've done. Put that on the chief, we can just, there we are. So what they've done is, this is the side that I put on, you can see it's nice and straight and flat. The side that they've put on, they haven't actually lined it up, so the arch is actually lying in over. So, what problem does this cause? You see I've got my spacer there. That's the spacer that's put in between the axle and the stub axle, just to give us the actual wide arch, the depth as it were. So if I measure that, you're looking at 30mm. If I measure this side, you're looking at probably nearer 20mm. So that takes 10mm off the space of the thickness of the axle. I would like to actually pull this off our side arch out a little bit. Now that's going to be a job and a half. I've done a bit of research. I've heard if you heat that fiberglass up a lot, without burning it obviously, apparently you can manipulate it and relax it a bit. So I'm hoping what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop out the fiberglass that I've got inside and hopefully heat it up, try and pull it out a little bit. If that doesn't work, then what I might do is put something in, try and force it out a bit and keep it under a bit of load and then fiberglass back the inside. Or, like I really want to do, is actually put a metal uh, metal tub it, you know, make a proper, proper job of it. So that's what I've got to do. That's yet another body shop cock up. So, yeah. I've got that to deal with, but that'll be later on, a couple of videos down the line. I need to get the rust dealt with first so I can get the underside. I'll be happy with the underside once that's done. So that's where that's at. I've actually got, as much as I say it's nice and solid, there's actually still quite a bit of work left to do in there, but I'm sure if I just keep chipping away at it and break away at it, eventually I'll get it done down to a few simple jobs, or eventually I'll, I'll get it done anyway. I'll whittle my way through it. So um, let's just get on and get some, get some work done on it, see where we'll get to. Plate off. I don't know whether that's going to be better with or without the light. Yeah, probably without the light. So, I took the plate off. Like I said, there was a couple of small holes. There's one little one there, one little one here. The, this frame that welds onto is actually nice and solid. There's a little bit of roughness in the corner here. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece out, this inner arch, straight along that line that I've cut there, down into here. Obviously take that off as best I can without destroying this and then up here I'm going to have to cut that little section out there and remake that little section there. Whether I do it in one piece, whether I do this piece and then weld another piece onto it so I'll patch it in two, maybe for a better patch but not as strong or a stronger patch that maybe might not quite be as good, I don't know, we'll see. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that piece out and get that all ready to weld the new piece in there.
getting the patch cut out that good solid metal all the way along here I'm more than happy that's nice and solid so that's a nice easy job that part of it this up here is a tiny little bit it's solid but it's a bit not so pleasant to be fair again it's on me because it had the um splash guard inside here going to the original wing about there i cut it all out because i think i had a little bit of rot in it at the time and um, cut it all out and folded it back not thinking about it to be fair um, it does look a mess when the wheel's on. You can, I can actually see in there when the lock's turned. And obviously you're getting stone chips and all sorts of crap up inside there. So I'm still in two minds whether or not the wing comes off. Ideally, I would like to take the wing off to get to that. Um, but to take the wing off, I've got to cut the side skirt, which I really don't want to do because I don't want to obviously have to deal with bodywork outside here at the minute. So this is still in question. If I can repair all this without too much aggro, the wing stays on. The day ever comes I take the wing off, then I can repair that just that one section there. But as long as that's solid there, which is pretty pretty good, um, we're onto a winner. So I'll uh, I'll get this patch made up now. Um, I might mock it up in cardboard first because, as we all know, cardboard's cheaper than steel. Um, so I might mock it all up in cardboard first, just that I've got a rough pattern to go with. Then I'll cut it out. I'll fettle it. I'm not going to video this because I'll be I'll be backwards and forwards half hour an hour nearly. Just backwards and forwards to make sure I get the shape of it right. Um, but yeah, once I've got the patch ready to go, it's just a matter of tacking it in. And that's that. That's this one repair done. Next one, obviously, we'll work on to, I think, is the floor. I think we'll just work our way back. Get what we've done can. Or even get what we can. Done. There we go. That's about as far as I'm going to get done today. Um... We have taken all this back. We've done some other stuff at the back as well. Got the patch made. Looks like quite a simple patch, but there was a few more bends and shapes in that than we thought. Um, we've got rust treatment on it now, just to just to make it um, solid. The patch fits in like a glove there, so we'll get that welded up next time we're back down again. Um, until then, would you like to say thanks for watching and. We shall see you all the next time. Cheers.